Greetings, this is Earthman from earthmansoil.com. God bless you guys, and as always, I hope you're doing well today. Today, we're going to continue to talk about plant growth promoting bacteria and why they will greatly enhance your plant's overall growth and health. To truly grow organic, you need organic nutrients. Unfortunately, some of these take a long time to be available plant-ready food for your roots uptake. They remain locked in the soil, unusable for your plant's use. That is where growth-promoting bacteria come in. They free up these locked minerals and nutrients that are in your soil. And as we're discovering, they do so much more other than just feed your plant. So let's look at our bacteria of the day. It is Bacillus SPP, silica solubilizer. So before we look at the bacteria, let's look at what silica does for plants. Silica is not an essential element for normal growth and development of most plants. Think of silica as an add-on, a bonus, to put your plants over the top for huge yields. Silica also strengthens cell walls and stems of plants, and this helps guard your plant against environmental stresses that will slow growth. Likewise, it provides a better uptake of water and nutrients for your plant. It also adds protection against fungal diseases such as powdery mildew by mobilizing the infected area, mobilizing to the infected area, and hardening the surrounding area around the infection, preventing spread. Silica creates also a neutral pH value in the rhizosphere, and this is what microbes thrive on. The fine particles of silica are embedded in the root zone and beneficial microbes, well, they use this as a launching area and developing and colonizing root areas in your root zone. Minerals and trace elements will also get absorbed to the silica, freeing them up, making them more readily available to our plant's growth and overall health. And lastly, it helps enhance chlorophyll production. Let's go ahead and look at some natural and organic sources for your plant of silica. Diatomaceous earth is good. Sand, you can put sand in your soil. One of my favorites is rice hulls. It's very good for many reasons. Silica is one. Different type of rock dust such as basalt dust, granite dust, and rock dust. One of my favorite ingredients in soil is powdered Azomite. It's really good and goes a long way. Likewise, green sand. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at this amazing bacteria, Bacillus SPP, and its different functions. The first is that it solubilizes locked silica in your soil and increases the silica uptake by excreting organic acids that break it down and make the silica plant food ready. It also helps reduce plant diseases by strengthening plant cell walls and stems. It produces antioxidants used by the plant to keep them healthy and boost their immune system. It also produces enzymes and plant hormones that help with different plant function. It also helps induce the defense response gene expression, therefore increasing the plant's defense against any and all attacks, including insect, fungi, and also biotic and different environmental stresses that cause problems with your plant. So, I hope this lesson has been helpful to you. I know I enjoy researching it, and I love this bacteria. I hope that you guys get a lot out of it. God bless you guys. And don't forget to check us out at earthmansoil.com because all our ingredients are alive and they're designed to make your plants healthy and happy and grow just as God designed them to grow. God bless you.